Welcome back to another video. My name's Callum. I'm a photographer here on YouTube as well as Instagram. If you like what you see today, then consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. So today's going to be the first episode of a series I want to start my channel uh, called Monthly Photography Favourites. In these episodes, I just want to go through with you what I've picked up this month, whether it be zines, photo books, prints, as well as speak about things I've enjoyed that month, such as... Uh, people's YouTube channels, Instagrams, etc. I just thought this would be a good way of me recommending things I like that you could try out, uh, as well as shining a light on new photographers and products that I think are underrated and photographers I think are underrated as well. So this is episode one uh, and in today's episode I'm going to be talking about three products I've picked up during this month, January. Uh, one Instagram page that I've really liked and one YouTube channel that I really like too. Also, all the things in this video that we'll be talking about will be linked in the description, whether it's Instagram pages, YouTube channels, and products. So the first thing I've picked up this month is the Gunner Stall Portraits book. Um, you'd be surprised to know this is the first photo book I've ever bought, because I'm only now getting into photo books and zines. I think they're quite interesting, I've just never got them before. This is a book I have wanted for a while now. Um, but I thought it was way more limited and way more expensive than what it actually was. I picked it up on Amazon for around £13 and there was still a few left and there's quite a few left on the US Amazon site as well. So this is a super sick book, it's great quality, the images are super good and uh, really original. So from what I have seen this book is super sick, um, it features a lot of my favourite artists and Gunnar Stoll is actually one of my favourite portrait photographers. I haven't had too much time to look at this book, I've been super busy with other things but from what I've seen it's super sick and I definitely would recommend. And yeah Gunnar Stoll is just an amazing photographer. So seeing that Gunnar Stoll is actually a really well established photographer and super popular, I want to tone it right back down to someone that is not so established but has still really impressed me this month. And that is Joe Tierche. So I did recently come across Joe Tierche, I hope I'm not slating your name. So I recently found Joe's Instagram page from uh, a Facebook group actually and I noticed that they were dropping a photo book called Trees 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 and i thought why not support fellow photographer and pick up their book um it helps them and it's something good for me to look at and yeah it was only three pound fifty for something of good quality and presentation it was only three pound fifty so this book does actually have to be purchased through email so i will leave a link to joe's instagram in the description and if you want to pick it up there is only 30 i think it's 30 copies of this so if you want one be quick and get one and yeah just give them a drop Joe a DM on Instagram and they'll be able to let you know if there's any left. So with this book I was super super impressed with the presentation of it. Not only did I get the book but it came in a super nice envelope with uh, a Joe Tierche photography sticker with the contact details on. Um, it, they also gave me a copy of Joe's first ever zine um this one is actually limited to 50 out of and i've got 40 out of 50 this is a great quality zine as well if you're lucky enough you might get one with uh the trees 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 book a zine sorry i keep calling it z uh book but it's actually a zine and yeah this was another great quality piece that i i got off them and i was also given a photo one of the photos i think it's in the book uh with a hand handwritten note on the back the presentation of this just gives it a way more personal feel and i just quite like that service and a bit more on the book obviously it's called trees 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 all the photos are taken within a five mile radius of joe's house so i'm assuming this was all shot within the uh, lockdown that we're still in in the uk and the pictures and the paper are super great quality and you'll be pleased to know this is all made from recycled paper so yeah definitely a good presentation and service from joe uh, if you drop any more zines in the future i will definitely be picking one of those up and the last uh product i want to talk about today is a print i picked up from bray huntziger's uh dark room print store this is the print it's called blue hour and it's my favorite image one of my favorite images 
that I've ever seen taken by Bray. Bray's video is super inspirational and they did actually help me get into film photography and uh, motivated me to make more videos. But yeah, this print is called Blue Hour and it costs $20 initially for the print. Uh, so I think that's about £15, but delivery was actually $16, so that's about £10, maybe a little bit more. I think overall, because of shipping to the UK, it came to £27, and at first I thought that was a bit pricey, because he wasn't actually getting the profit off the delivery, obviously, but it was quite an, a lot to pay just for shipping. But then I just thought, I'll get it, I really like the image, it hypes me up to go and take photos. And it's not actually that expensive and for the quality you get it's actually really good and i'll definitely be purchasing more prints off uh bray in the future because they're super sick just want to let you know it doesn't come in the frame i got this frame for a couple of quid somewhere but yeah this is the print it's super sick long exposure at night um it was actually from a video that he made i uh, the video shows him take this picture i think what i'm gonna do is maybe type in 16 or 15 seconds on my reciprocity timer and see where that gets me 15 seconds put me at 34 seconds so i'm gonna do a 35 second exposure i'm really glad i took two exposures of this frame although i love the first one i am leaning towards the second one just because it's a little bit darker and it makes me feel more like it was taken during the evening either way the colors in both of these are beautiful and those long exposure times being 35 seconds and a minute and a half really bake the colors into the frame the blues and the greens just look amazing moving on from products uh, i now want to talk about a youtube channel that i've really really enjoyed this month and that's Willem Verbeek's YouTube channel. Now, I began what you could call my film photography journey around a month or so ago now, and this channel has been super, super educational for me as well as entertaining. And I think the reason that I like the channel so much is because when you're watching the video, even though you're learning stuff, it's also entertaining and he just looks like he's having so much fun when he goes out to take photos. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think that's why I really enjoyed it. It, it also uh, motivated me to go out and shoot, as you would know, um, after watching like five of his videos, I decided to order a film camera and <laughs> a few rolls of film. He also makes great tutorials, so if you are getting into film photography, or you're already into film photography, there's content on this channel for everyone. And yeah, his videos definitely helped with my transition from digital to film. A video I'd highly recommend on this channel that is entertaining for all, uh, it's not a tutorial but it's definitely a fun video to watch for everyone, is the throwaway camera challenge with Corey Wolfenbarger. So yeah, I'll leave that video linked in the description as well as a link to his channel. And last but not least, I want to talk about an Instagram page that I've really, really enjoyed this month, and that's nojaho.film. I think I'm slating the name there, so I will put it across here now. But yeah, I originally found his Instagram through Bray Hunsiger's community gallery. I've seen his photos on there, and I was like, I instantly need to follow this guy. His images just give me this uh, feeling of nostalgia and I actually like his photos so much because they actually do make me feel something and yeah these photos definitely inspired me to go and take more photos that are more meaningful to me. Yeah his work is super sick, be linked in the description again. Some of my favourite photos from him are actually these. And that is all guys for today's video, um, I hope you did like the first instalment of this ep of this series, um, I just thought it would be a great idea for me to just show you what I've picked up and yeah it gives me more of a reason to spend money. Yeah, leave a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this uh, episode and if you think I should continue with the series, also leave some suggestions of things I could try pick up this month and review uh, because if I'm letting you guys know what I'm picking up, I want to know what you're picking up as well, so yeah.
and if you did like what you've seen today consider subscribing and leaving a like in the video and I will see you shortly for a new video.